These stunning images were captured by NASA's Hubble Space Telescope. Since its launch into low Earth orbit in 1990, Hubble has continued to send back breathtaking views of the cosmos. However, like any aging piece of technology, it's experiencing increasing problems as time goes on. To address these issues, some experts suggest that SpaceX's powerful Starship vehicle could play a key role in supporting or even servicing the telescope. But how exactly would that work? Let's find out. A little more about the Hubble Space Telescope. As mentioned earlier, Hubble was launched into low Earth orbit in 1990 and remains operational to this day. Although it wasn't the first space telescope, it is one of the largest and most versatile ever built. It has become both a vital research tool and a powerful symbol of astronomical discovery. Named after the renowned astronomer Edwin Hubble, the telescope is one of NASA's great observatories. It features a 2.4-meter mirror and five main instruments capable of observing in the ultraviolet, visible, and near-infrared parts of the electromagnetic spectrum positioned above Earth's atmosphere. Hubble can capture incredibly sharp, high-resolution images with far less background interference than ground-based telescopes. Thanks to this clarity, Hubble has produced some of the most detailed images of the universe ever captured offering a deep and revealing look into space. Its observations have led to major breakthroughs in astrophysics, including more precise measurements of the universe's rate of expansion. The Space Telescope Science Institute is responsible for selecting Hubble's observation targets and processing its data, while NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center manages the telescope's operations. Over its long operational life, the Hubble Space Telescope has faced numerous challenges. What has kept it functioning for so many years is the fact that it's the only space telescope specifically designed to be serviced by astronauts. Over the course of five space shuttle missions, NASA astronauts repaired, upgraded, and replaced critical systems, including all five of Hubble's main scientific instruments. One persistent issue has been with its gyroscopes, which are essential for detecting and measuring rotation. These allow Hubble to maintain its orientation in space and point precisely at astronomical targets. Of the six gyroscopes installed during the final servicing mission in 2009, only three remain operational today. Without new gyroscopes, Hubble's ability to function is at risk and its operational lifespan is limited. The telescope also needs a broader technological refresh. Past servicing missions not only repaired aging components, but also upgraded instruments, preventing failures and enabling entirely new types of scientific discoveries. Without future servicing missions, all of Hubble's instruments will eventually degrade and fail. In July 2021, Hubble was offline for nearly a month due to a temporary failure of its payload computer. NASA restored full science operations by December 8, 2021 and began implementing software updates to help the telescope's instruments better handle synchronization issues in the future. So far, all repairs to the Hubble Space Telescope have been carried out through space shuttle missions. When the space shuttle program was retired in 2011, the era of hands-on servicing for Hubble came to an end. The final servicing mission in 2009 was intended to extend Hubble's life by five years. While engineers and astronomers hoped the telescope would remain scientifically useful beyond that, there were no guarantees. The fact that Hubble is still operational today is a remarkable achievement. Many people still care deeply about this iconic telescope, including billionaire Jared Isaacman, who has proposed a plan to save Hubble at no cost to NASA. His idea came in response to NASA's 2022 request for commercial space companies to suggest ways to extend Hubble's operational life. One suggested method was to rendezvous with the telescope and boost it to a higher, more stable orbit. This maneuver could potentially add up to 20 more years of service. A study was conducted to explore the technical challenges involved, including how to dock with Hubble and carry out the orbit-raising operation. However, NASA has not committed to a mission due to concerns about risk and cost. Isaac Mann's proposal was also declined. A key obstacle is that, at the time, no spacewalk had ever been performed from a SpaceX Dragon capsule. Dragon also lacks both an airlock and a robotic arm, 
which are critical capabilities for a successful Hubble servicing mission. While the Dragon capsule may not be suitable for a Hubble servicing mission, what about SpaceX's larger and more capable spacecraft, Starship? Starship's spacious cargo bay could accommodate tools, instruments, or even a crewed mission to service Hubble. Similar to how the space shuttle operated in the past, Starship would need to be equipped with a version of the Canadarm, a robotic arm originally developed by Canada for the shuttle program. Also known as Canadarm-1, it was a series of robotic arms used on space shuttle orbiters to deploy, maneuver, and capture payloads. It played a key role in Hubble's past servicing missions, helping astronauts retrieve the telescope and securely mount it onto a platform inside the shuttle's large cargo bay. Here is how a Starship serving mission would be. First, the crew would use a robotic arm to gently dock Hubble inside Starship's cargo bay. After docking, astronauts would carry out all necessary servicing tasks during a series of spacewalks lasting three to five days. Once the work was complete, mission controllers at the Space Telescope Operations Control Center, along with Johnson Space Center Mission Control, would prepare the telescope for release. This phase often included using Starship to boost Hubble into a slightly higher orbit. This maneuver helps extend the telescope's operational life by reducing the effects of atmospheric drag, which would otherwise slowly pull it out of orbit. The crew would then use the robotic arm again to carefully lift Hubble out of the payload bay and release it back into space. From there, ESTO-CC would open the telescope's aperture door and verify that Hubble was operating normally. Returning the telescope to full science operations typically took a few months after each servicing mission. The thing is, keeping an aging spacecraft like the Hubble Space Telescope operational is becoming increasingly expensive, and it's unclear how much longer NASA will be willing to foot the bill. Sooner or later, it will have to come down. Fortunately, SpaceX's Starship could play a key role in that process. Hubble orbits in the extremely thin upper atmosphere of Earth. Over time, its orbit decays due to atmospheric drag, and that decay rate depends heavily on solar activity, which affects the density of the upper atmosphere. If Hubble were to re-enter Earth's atmosphere in an uncontrolled descent, some components, like the main mirror and support structure, would likely survive the heat of re-entry. That poses a real risk of debris, causing damage on the ground, or in the worst case, injury or loss of life. Back in 2013, Hubble's deputy project manager, James Jaletic, projected that the telescope could last into the 2020s. Based on updated models of solar activity and drag, NASA now estimates that a natural re-entry could occur sometime between 2028 and 2040. NASA's original plan was to safely retrieve Hubble using the space shuttle and bring it back to Earth for display, most likely at the Smithsonian Institution. But with the shuttle fleet retired, that option is no longer available. Instead, NASA has considered attaching a propulsion module to enable a controlled deorbit. During the final servicing mission in 2009, servicing mission 4, Astronauts installed a soft capture mechanism along with a relative navigation system. Together, they form the soft capture and rendezvous system, which allows for future retrieval or controlled deorbit by either a robotic or crewed spacecraft. But Hubble still is a historic piece of technology. Many in the scientific and spaceflight communities would love to see it brought back intact. And this is where Starship comes in. Hubble itself is about 13.2 meters long and 4.2 meters in diameter, not including the solar panels, and it weighs around 11,000 kilograms. That's well within the capacity of Starship, which is designed to carry 100 or more tons of cargo. With its spacious cargo bay, reusable design, and relatively low launch cost, Starship makes a retrieval mission not just feasible, but financially practical. All it would take is the removal of Hubble's solar arrays, folding the solar shield, securing some assemblies, and then loading it into Starship for a ride back to Earth. The dream of bringing Hubble home for preservation isn't dead. It just needs the right vehicle. What do you think? Should we use Starship to bring the Hubble Space Telescope back to Earth or let it burn up during re-entry?
Let me know in the comments. So, what comes next? The plans for a successor to Hubble took shape under the Next Generation Space Telescope project, which ultimately led to the development of the James Webb Space Telescope, Hubble's formal successor. Unlike a simple upgrade to Hubble, the James Webb Space Telescope is designed to operate at much colder temperatures and is positioned far from Earth at the L2 Lagrange point. This location minimizes thermal and optical interference from both Earth and the Moon. Although the James Webb Telescope is not fully serviceable like Hubble, it does include a docking ring that allows for potential visits from other spacecraft in the future. One of James Webb Space Telescope's primary scientific goals is to observe the most distant objects in the universe, reaching deeper into space and further back in time than any previous telescope. It is expected to detect stars that formed roughly 280 million years earlier than the farthest stars currently observable by Hubble. Looking even further ahead, one of the most ambitious concepts under consideration is the Large Ultraviolet Optical Infrared Surveyor. This proposed space telescope, with a potential aperture ranging from 8 to 16.8 meters, could serve as a more direct and powerful successor to Hubble. Louvoir would be capable of observing astronomical objects across ultraviolet, visible, and infrared wavelengths with far greater resolution than either Hubble or the Spitzer Space Telescope. According to the final planning report prepared for the 2020 Astronomy and Astrophysics Decadal Survey, Louvoir could launch as early as 2039. To get telescopes of this scale into orbit, many top American astronomers agree that NASA should take advantage of the transformative lift capacity offered by next-generation heavy-lift rockets such as SpaceX's Starship. Telescope designs are heavily constrained by the capabilities of their launch vehicles, specifically by the available volume, mass limits, and the target orbit. These limitations add complexity and drive up costs. SpaceX's Starship, with its ability to lift more than 100 metric tons into orbit at a much lower cost per kilogram than existing rockets, significantly expands the possibilities for future missions. For instance, the James Webb Space Telescope had to be designed to fit within the roughly 5-meter diameter payload, fairing of the Ariane 5 rocket, which at the time had the largest payload envelope available. This limitation required James Webb Space Telescope's primary mirror to be segmented into 18 foldable pieces in order to fit inside the rocket. With a much larger vehicle like Starship, future telescopes could use monolithic mirrors instead, eliminating the need for complex folding mechanisms and enabling simpler, more robust designs.